Hi, I'm Dr. Elda Ford. I specialize in rehabilitation and conditioning medicine here at Veterinary Specialty Center. Let's talk about passive range of motion therapy for your pet. There are two types of range of motion therapy, active range of motion and passive range of motion. Active range of motion involves you encouraging your pet to move their limb on their own, contracting muscles to do so. This is appropriate for healthy animals or animals in late stage of recovery following injury or surgery. But if done too soon after surgery, it can actually increase pain or lead to further injury. So instead, we use passive range of motion in the early stages of recovery. Passive range of motion involves you moving your pet's limb for them so they don't have to contract muscles to do so. Joints don't have a good blood supply, so joint mobility is critical to joint health. Nutrients in synovial fluid are distributed throughout the joint as the joint moves. This also helps to get rid of metabolic waste products, inflammation, or swelling. Passive range of motion can help do this and help recover joints, maintaining joint health and even improving joint health in the early stages of recovery. Find a nice quiet space for you and your pet. There should be a nice flat surface for them to lay down. You want them to lay down on the good side with their injured limb up. Be sure they're calm and relaxed, ready for passive range of motion therapy. If your pet is too anxious or is having difficulty lying down, these exercises can be done with your pet standing as well. You want to fully support the limb. Place one hand above and the other hand below the joint that needs passive range of motion. Move the limb below the joint in a slow, controlled fashion through its natural range of motion. Be gentle and careful that you don't cause the pet any pain or discomfort. You can also use a slow, comfortable bicycling motion, similar to if your pet was running. Perform one to three sets of five to 10 repetitions, two to three times a day.